Okay, three quarter inch spade bit, and we're gonna get this just as far down as we possibly can. Thing the output. So we can get a look at it here. Nice bite. There you go. We'll get that threaded all the way in and get it tight. And then we'll put the uh, 90 on the outside. Okay, now we've got the top cut. We used a keyhole saw on that. Took about 20 minutes, a little bit of work. And I've drilled holes using a 5/32nds inch drill bit. Got some number 12 sinkers that are going into the holes. This is going to hold the top in place. Okay? Two of them. There's one there. And then we've got the 90 and the adapter on the inside threaded. And we'll get started on the rest. Okay, when you fill the barrel with water, when you put water in, you're going to want to use uh, as clean a water as possible. And before you put the water in, you want to rinse the barrel out with hydrogen peroxide or bleach. I, I wouldn't use bleach. It'll work, but I would recommend a hydrogen peroxide 3% solution. Just scrub it out. Okay, now we've got it well, a little over two thirds, or, I mean, a little over a third full of water. It's about 22 gallons. Um, you want to have water in it before you start putting the gravel and the sand in there. Uh, reason for that, if you, if you develop air bubbles in the sand, you'll have to take it all out again. And there's about a thousand pounds of sand in there, so usually once is about all you want to do. It also allows you to check for leaks out here. Let's look and see what we got. Any leaks? Let's see if we can focus on this. No leaks. Dry. Okay. So we want to be sure this doesn't leak before we start putting all our sand and gravel and all that in there. Okay, this is the this is the drain system. It's all half inch PVC. I use schedule uh, 40. Um, you just want to make it, you want to cut these so that it fits in the bottom of your barrel, a little bit of space left over. Uh, straightforward, just regular old PVC. Um, don't glue it. Break some fit it together. If you glue it, you'll be sorry. Don't glue it. Okay, now we're going to drill the holes in the drain system. 5 inch drill bit. Uh, this would be a lot faster with a power tool. Uh, I'm going to use this. Okay, we've got the holes drilled in the drain pipes. And you want them sideways. Like this. Okay, here we have the flexible pipe. It's uh, three and a half inches long. Nine. Okay, we're ready to install it. We got 10 turns of tape on there. And we're gonna have to crawl inside and plug it in. Then we'll take a look. Okay, now one of the things that you wanna be sure of when you put the flexible pipe in there is that the length of the flexible portion has to be enough so that the drain pipes are actually pushed up against the side here. That way when you put the rocks in, the gravel and the sand, it won't pull it out. Okay? Now we've got that installed so it's not coming out. Okay, this is the flexible pipe that we're going to use to hook up the output on the outside. If you if you heat this up with warm water, just put it up, put it under warm water, <clears throat> you can excuse me, you can thread it into a half inch pipe thread. It takes a little bit of doing, but you can thread it in and then you want to put a pipe, a, a pipe clamp on it there. Show you the whole thing when it's done.
half full of water. We want to check for leaks. Is that leaking? No. Is that leaking? No. On that little flexible pipe there, when you put those pipe clamps on, you want to make sure that hose is all the way up to the end here. All the way on. It has to be all the way on all the threads. And these have to be just as tight as you can get them. Okay, this is the this is the gravel we'll be putting in the bottom of the barrel. So we'll take a look at that in just a minute. We're going to rinse this gravel off until the water runs clear. Now, as you can see, that water is not clear, so we got a ways to go. We'll look at it when it's clear. If we look in there, we can see the water, and we can also see the bottom of the wheelbarrow. A little bit of cement left over in there, but that's not from the that's not from the gravel. So it's that's clean enough. We're going to stop right there. Okay, as you can see, that water is pretty clear. So this is just about ready. However, okay, now when you're washing this gravel, you're going to want to check it carefully. Uh, this batch happened to have an awful lot of organic material in it. So what we're doing... Okay, well, we're just going to rinse it and let all that stuff float to the top. And then we'll pour it off. You can see we've started to put the gravel in there. We're going to keep going until we don't see those pipes. And then before we go any further, we're going to put water in there and we're going to fill it up considerably. And as we put the sand in, we'll uh, continue to put water in. We've got the gravel in there. We've got it at a little over 29 inches. So we're, we're about two inches of gravel, a little over two inches of gravel on top of the, of the pipes, which is it's going to work. A bag and a half of that gravel. Sand that we'll be using for the coarse sand. This is uh, about 0.45 millimeters effective size, and uh, you can get it at most hardware stores. Um, they can order it for you. But that's what we're going to be filling the bottom part of the barrel with. We'll have two layers of sand. It'll be this on the bottom, and then we're going to use a 0.25 millimeter effective uh, size sand on the top. We're, we're adding the sand here now. We've got it. We've got water going in there, and uh, we're going to keep the level of the water over the level of the sand as we add the sand. So uh, we'll just keep going until we get right about to there with the coarse sand, maybe right about to there. We'll have to measure it. And then we'll, uh, we'll get the fine stuff, which is the .25. We'll put that in. It's normal for it to look like this. This is fine. That'll clear up. Okay, we've got all the coarse sand in. We got the water right up to here. Now we're going to put the uh, 0.25 millimeter, the fine sand in. Okay, now we've got the pipes all hooked up. Hooked up at the bottom. All the sand is in there. Here's the most important part. What you want to do is you want to have the output right here about an inch above the surface of the sand inside so that when the water is done draining there's still about an inch of water over the sand so we're letting it now obviously it's not ready we're just letting it flow through and we'll have to feed water through this for about three weeks before it'll be ready so we'll look at the uh, baffle construction short okay here we're breaking down using a power tool you could use a bracing bit it would take a long time we're gonna use a power tool this is a number 45 drill bit in here and we're going to drill rows of holes like that. We just want it on one side of the pipe because what we're going to do when we get it in there is going to set this up so the water drips down and, does, and doesn't spray down with force because we don't want to disturb the sand. So when we finish that, we'll put it together and put it on the top. And we have the holes. We drilled on one side of the pipe and they're facing up. Number 45 drill bit. So we're going to go out and install it. Okay, we drilled a hole in the top that, with a three-quarter inch spade bit and uh, made sure that the half-inch PVC fits through there snugly. And then uh, next step will be to put this in, put this on. Okay, we got the 90 installed and that's what it does. 
We want the holes that are in those pipes to the top, remember, so that it just drips over. And now we'll hook the bucket up. Okay, look at this. Now we've only run uh, about a bucket, no, about two buckets full of water through there, and it's already clearing up. It's not perfect, but it has already started to clear up. How about that? We've got the bucket up there. It's hooked up. Drain. Last thing we're going to do, we're going to hook up a two inch line from here right over to the bucket. Okay, we've got the uh, filter all done. It's been running for a day and a half, about three gallons an hour. There's uh, a couple more things. Actually, there's four more things, and they're sitting on top of the barrel there. On, this, on the left, on the far left, is uh, PVC glue. Next is plumber's putty. Next one is Teflon tape. And the one on the far right is a liquid thread sealer. Probably the best of uh, all the thread sealers that I've used here. I would recommend using that instead of O-rings or uh, Teflon tape. That works really well. Okay, we've got it all together. This is uh, the fifth run through. So it's starting to clean out all the silt and everything. Okay, the filter has been in operation for seven months now. Uh, it's now August 2nd, 2012. We're going to look at the water that's coming out of the filter. The flow is about 30 liters an hour. Now this is coming right out of the filter. This hasn't gone through a charcoal filter or any other filter other than this little sand filter. This is the output. So you can see the water's clear. Uh, it's been tested. Uh, EPA certified lab. No coliforms in the output. 